make a long story much shorter, you were promised a new tank within a week and you didn't get it. Correct. You ultimately, after a month, went to the store to find out where your tank was. Correct. And who did you meet with? What's the name of the person? I met with Eric. Who's the service manager. The facility manager. And Eric, because they can't tell me what happened, Eric said what to you? At first he offered me $200. $200. So you paid $3,800 for a big fish tank, and now they've sort of, how do you say that, non Brooklynese. They sort of played around with you for a month, hoping you would go away. And then they said, ah, oh, we'll take a couple of hundred bucks off the tank. Go away. Yes. And you said no. Correct. And then what happened? So right now you've been charged for the tank. Correct. And you put in a request to the credit card company that the merchandise was defective. Correct. To reverse the charge. Yes. In the meantime, according to what he would like to tell me if he could speak, they ordered another tank. Correct. Do you have either tank? I have the first one they delivered, yes. And you're more than happy to give it back to them? Well, right now, I don't think I should give the tank Well, back. right now, let me explain something to you, because that's what their lawsuit is about, Mr. Winston. Right now, they say that they had two tanks, that they brought one to your house, they brought another one. Forget the fact that they brought another one, because your service manager was disrespectful when he said, we'll give you 200 bucks off. Got it? Yes, ma'am. But right now, you have a fish tank that you're happy with. And if you're not happy with it, you can give it back. And they've had ample opportunity to pick the fish tank up since... They're going to pick it up. Since March the 30th. Just a second. They're going to pick it up. And I'm going to tell you, they're going to pick it up with a marshal within five days of today's order. Do you understand? Yes. Great. Because that's what we call sort of an unjust enrichment. You say, well, I really don't like the fish tank, and they did the wrong thing, but I'm going to keep it anyway and not pay for it. Forget him. He hasn't said a word, right? right. That's what you want me to do? That sounds reasonable to you? No, I was just saying that, Your Honor, based on the fact that I've had the property at my location since March the 29th, and they've had ample opportunity to pick the property up. No, there was a lawsuit started. You went to mediation. All that took time. You went back to court. There had to be paper served. All of that took time, OK? Your Honor, may I speak? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the owner should have done of your company is sent somebody who had firsthand information somewhere about this, and that's not you. What I'm about to say is not regarding what happened before the fact. It's after the fact. When we get back a uh, used aquarium, it depreciates value Who cares? by 60%. I don't care. So if what you're saying is you don't want this aquarium back because it's depreciated, I could do that. That means you get nothing. <laughs> I don't think that Mr. Winston should be enriched by having a fish tank that he's enjoying if he says it's defective. The credit card company reversed the charges, so he really got something for nothing.